Really? What's so important about curing this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising, to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. Hmm, well, that's a big problem. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army, he'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. Hmm. Arthur doesn't... He trusts Rex, but he... Rex really pushes his buttons. He gets on his damn nerves. He really didn't even want to bring them on this mission to begin with, but... He's confident that he can keep them under control. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Well, that makes sense, considering we're already so undermanned to begin with, considering we're all that showed up. And yeah, it makes perfect sense. I mean, they know we're here in any way, so rushing it probably doesn't even make that much of a difference. Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. He looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. Hmm. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. Ashley's right. Rex obviously has to be spoken to. To keep him under, in line. I'll be careful, but be ready, just in case. I'm always ready. That's what I like to hear, Ashley. It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready. The hell? I don't like the way Rex is behaving. He's really on edge. Oh, hey there, Garrus. I'm concerned about Rex. We still trust him. Oh, that's a good question. Here's Tali. The upcoming battle frightens me, but I know Saren must be stopped. Yep. Ah. Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. Or anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kirahi. I imagine supplies are a bit tight right now. You just tell me what you have available. We have limited reserves. We requested a fleet to destroy Saren's base. Instead, they sent you. Hmm. The request never came through. We'll just have to make do. That much is clear. Let me see what you have. What little there is. All right, so what do we have here? Nothing that really compares to what we have, it looks like. Then again, we do have uh, Spectre hardware, which is pretty much as fine as it gets. Well, I can buy a uh, council license. Get that. Oh, a medic gel upgrade. Get that, too. And a grenade upgrade. All right, great. I'd get something useful out of all that. As for junk, the uh, question is, do we want to sell all this? Some of this actually might be an improvement for some of the other members, so eh, we'll hold on to it for now. All right. Why don't we talk to them? That's well, well and good. I don't know who the hell that is wandering around over there. There's the Mako. Captain Kirigi. If we fail, no one will hear of this. If we succeed, same result. Yeah. The mission will succeed. The captain will not have it any other way. Oh, that's the spirit. I've been on this mission far too long. My brood won't even recognize me. Yeah, it's a safe bet. It's dangerous work. Yeah, before we go talk to him. They are, how are you holding up? I am worried to you may be waning. Yeah, me too. We better succeed. We still feel the toll of the Krogan Rebellion. <sighs> well, let's talk to the guy. This isn't right, Shepard. 
If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. Well, let's just try to keep him calm. I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. Well, we need to explain him that it's not that simple. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon! And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Holy shit, why would he draw his weapon? Alright, Shepard obviously has to calm this guy down. Even though his initial instinct inside his head is to pull the trigger. I mean, he just pulled a gun on his commanding officer. Just in the heat of the moment, though, he would try to explain that this is for the greater good. And that how he, is how he thinks. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren. Tools. Is that what you want for them? No. We were tools for the Council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Fair deal. Fair deal, Rex. Huh? I agree. First, though... Um... Yes. Oh, well, we already checked that. Let's... Alright. Well... We are nearly as fit as we can be. So let's just put it another there, and then hopefully next level we'll... Arthur will be able to do 5,000 push-ups. And frankly, that's important. That's very important, to be able to do something like that. Alright. God damn it, Rex. Pulling a gun at commanding officer. This was a conventional military force, then... God, he'd be freaking court-martialed so fast. All right, well, let's talk to Captain Kirahi and get this crap over with. We know it's going to be hard. We know it's going to be bloody. Who knows whether we're even going to succeed or not. We've got to do it. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. Uh-huh. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Hmm. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. And where would that be? Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. Hmm... What does Arthur really think about this? He's not convinced that they don't have enough men. But he's not crazy. There's gotta be another way, though. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. Well, you do realize, considering their numbers, that you probably are going to get wiped out for that. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. Hmm. Well, that makes sense. We've certainly brought plenty of crew here. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Ugh. Ah, uh, alright, well... 
his initial instinct is going to be to ask Kirihi here, which he thinks would be a better choice. Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary, though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Well, communication protocols. Caden, because obviously Arthur wants Ashley to come with him. Elenko, you're with the captain. Keep it simple, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? Oh, well, yes, actually. Once we plant this, how do we get down here? The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. Oh, that sounds pointlessly, uh, cavalier. You talk like this is a suicide mission. I won't lie to you, Commander. There is a chance none of us will survive this assault, even your team. But we do what is necessary. Hmm. Shadow seems clear enough. What will the other teams be called? Eigor, Manovai, and Jeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Solarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. Hmm, that's a good idea. Give me a quick rundown of the plan again. You are Team Shadow. We will create a distraction while you infiltrate the base. Make your way to the breeding grounds at the heart of the facility. Disable the AA gun so the Normandy can land and deliver the nuke. If we get that far, we'll try to help you with guns, but don't count on it. Once you have the bomb, place it next to the geothermal taps. Then get out before it detonates. Geothermal taps, all right. I want to know more about the bomb. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Once it has been armed, very little can stop it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. Sounds like an objective. I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything foolish while I'm gone, Ash. And that goes for you too, Commander. We'll be fine, LT. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Hmm. Is there something you wanted to say, Caden? It's just weird going under someone else's command. I've got so used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry so much. We'll see you on the other side. I know, I, um... I just wanted to say that it's been an honor serving with you, Commander. Ah, uh, come on, Marine. We're a team. Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We're still a team. Watch each other's backs, keep your eyes open, and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glorying in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. The silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. Well, that was a cute little speech. All right, obviously Williams, and we're gonna need a tech expert, so we're gonna bring Tali along. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. 
And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Hmm, let's look for it. Alright, let's move up. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Lieutenant Alenko with A Gore team. Ranovai, JF. Oh, time to get some attention. That didn't take long. All targets down. Oh, there are a number of ways we could try to move in here. Wow. Satellite uplink tower, communications tower. Let's take out the communication towers, move down this way, hit the satellite uplight tower. Hit the refueling platform and then go to the research facility. One, two, three, boom. Anyone see anything? Got contact on the Fire radar. Coordinated on Monovi team. We can't reach the Geth turrets. They're out of range. Let's make him feel appreciated. Not bad. Surprise. Think we're good, Commander. Geth communications disrupted. Well, they should have a difficult time uh, coordinating their actions now. Just what I intended. Alright, so we hit the communications link. We'll move through the facility, come along here, and then hit the saddle link uplink tower. Let's fall out. Something scrambled the target. We've got a shot. Lieutenant Alenko, take the heat off Man of Eye. Keep your eyes open, team. You could come from anywhere. Got signatures on the radar. Drones, shit. Put our shields up. JNO, watch for comm stations. Alenko, can you see anything? Think we got him, Commander. I wouldn't be so sure. It's a saddling uplink tower there on the right. Let's move up. Contact. Bring them a little surprise. Easy. Krogan. Ah, oh, shit. Find time to overheat. Let's get the shotty out. Well, oh, that one didn't come back. Yeah, just because we have negative contacts doesn't mean much. Get some aid. Might need that later. Right, let's see if we can get this shut off. Where's the damn comm link? Is this what I'm thinking about here? Maybe there's something underneath the station. We gotta look at this carefully. We went on them. We don't want to miss something. I'm not seeing anything. This 
world is beautiful. Too bad it's been contaminated by Seren and his Disrupt communications. I thought this is what it is. It doesn't seem to be working. There's got to be some way to mess up their communication. I thought this would work, but apparently it won't. Then again, it looks like we've toasted it. It's not here anymore. Oh well, we really can't hold on delay any longer. Need to keep moving. We're getting pounded. Bunker up before the aircraft returns. Careful. Ooh, damn rockets. All right, how do we want to move through? We should sweep around this way and then go north, so we don't get ambushed on the way. moving. Keep your eyes open. Bad time to lose shields, too. Looks like they're chasing us. Make sure he doesn't get up again. Good. We can't have these ruck troops making trouble for us. It looks like we've got a place, uh, cave here. Maybe we could do some overwatch. Oh, there's some supplies over this way, too. I don't see any enemy contacts. That doesn't mean anything. Alright, let's move up here, take out the refueling platform, and keep moving. Let's stay on the catwalk. That's bound to be trouble, whatever that is over there. Ah, more of these damn drones. Got him. Oh, I think that put a bit of a bang into it. Hold still, you little bastard. Whew. All right. Is there any other way we can undermine uh, their communication uplink? Commander? Oh, we should pay attention, see what else we can find. I think we've done what we needed to do here. I will come along this far path and then hit the research facility from the flank. Should be able to cause some damage this way.